Okay, quick update. Um, I am currently draining the koi tubs um, that I've got in the house. Uh, I'm going to bring them out here. I'm going to put the tubs actually in the pond and uh, let them set in this water. Um, probably, you know, most of the day. Um, kind of the same thing we do, you know, when we get fish from the local fish store. We bring them home. We uh, put the bags in the, uh, the fish tank and float them. Well, I don't have a bag big enough for the koi, so I'm just going to float the tubs that they've been in. And by it being a thicker, you know, plastic um, than a bag, I figure, you know, floating them for several hours will probably do it. Um, and what I'll do is I'll take, I'll, I've got a pitcher, um, I'll take and, you know, pour some water in every, you know, once in a while. Um, and that'll help, you know, not only with the, the chemical part of um, the uh, uh, water, but, you know, temperature as well. So, um, but just kind of wanted to show off uh, how the pond looks. Um, you should be able to see that in the camera. But, you know, that's all the way down to four foot. And you can literally, you can see the uh, <laughs> dead worms that's crawled in there over the last few days. You can see uh, the liner, the wrinkles, whatever's down there. You can actually tell the difference, um, or I can just by looking at it, but the difference between the liner and the dirt that's down in there, which is, uh, in my opinion, amazing. Um, because I actually, uh, for a while, over here in my filter box, I took all those sponges and everything out. Um, there was a lot of uh, waste that was built up on them, so I took them out and uh, still got a few here that's, there what I'm doing is there were some that was still actually wet believe it or not so I'm letting those dry out and then uh, you know I'll kind of beat the the waste off of it and uh, put them back in that box but uh, that's what we've got so uh, here's the look at it I've uh, I've also got some uh, more rocks yesterday I got a bunch of sandstone real flat ones so, you know, be able to get those, uh, finish up the filter, um, you know, here in the next couple of weeks. So, I can, uh, put all these, uh, you know, videos together and, uh, put them on YouTube, uh, for everybody to see and comment on. So, but that's kind of what's happening. Um, loving it. Uh, you know, we've had some, uh, had some frogs back in here already. Um, I don't know if you can see right that line right there and even if you kind of look at the back side of that rock get my finger back side right there you can uh you can see some uh frog eggs so uh it's pretty cool we'll have some tadpoles still yet um but uh here's what we got so okay so here's kind of what i've got done um up to this point so there's a pot of the uh, corkscrew rush. Um, then that is the uh, the lizard tail. Uh, the rush I cut down because there's a bunch of dead in it and um, just you know make it come back all nice and clean. Uh, you know it'll it'll come back pretty pretty good. Uh, there's the other pot of the rush, and then um, there's my two water lilies. Uh, the one I was able to go on and plant down two foot, but that one I had to kind of leave up a little bit higher. Uh, they're, they'll come along, um, so that'll be good. Um, but, you know, kind of got those in that, that corner right there. Um, I'm thinking with this stuff, I can, um, I can't remember if I said that earlier, but you know put it in some of the pockets around the uh, the edges uh, you know kind of like right in there and stuff make it kind of look like it's growing out of those rocks the roots and stuff they'll they'll move on into the pond and absorb the nutrients and stuff um, so I think that might look kind of cool um, instead of having a bunch of pots around this layer because you know I still got um, some miniature uh, cactus inside and 
uh, two more uh, water lilies. So uh, we'll see how that one goes. Um, but let's go and kind of show the fish. Um, here's, here's a couple of them. Four in that tub. Uh, I believe those are all goldfish. Two bigger ones and two smaller ones. It's kind of hard to see that one because he blends in so much. But uh, there's those. Then over here, we got four more. And, uh, say, yeah, they're there. It's kind of hard to see with that sun. And they're back there in that corner. Uh, that one, big one, might be a koi. I don't think it is, though. And then, up here, there was, uh, there was four in that one. But, uh, one decided he couldn't wait and actually was able to flip out into the pond. But, uh, there's those guys. So, uh, that's what we've got going on. Uh, probably film a little bit more once they're actually into the pond. But, like I said, I'm letting them float for several hours. And, uh, you know, get them into the pond. So, that's what I've got.